We missed the last train. Excuse us. What again? If you mess up again, you better redo your training at our store. I'm incredibly sorry, sir. Sato, pick up the pace. S sorry, sir. I'm Keiji Sato, and I'm 26. I work for Days Corporation Limited, an important company that deals with foreign goods. I'm starting to get the hang of my job, and they're starting to trust me with more important tasks. I need you to take care of these Valentine's Day chocolate orders ASAP. Things are a bit hectic for me right now. Plus, the deadline isn't until next week, so we still have enough time to complete these orders by then. We have some arrangements to sort out on the end too. You still don't get it, huh? I sent you the order form already. So just copy it and get those orders taken care of right away. Y yes sir. It might get confusing, so make sure to delete the orders already sent. Lately, Yamashita, my coworker who's been here longer, has been keeping a close eye on me. I think his dad is one of the higher ups, but I've never talked to him, so I don't know too much about him. Recently, Yamashita-san has been pretty reckless with how he assigns me tasks. I can sort of see why he's been keeping an eye on me though. Hi there, Yui. What do you say we try out that restaurant I was talking about? We can go there tonight on our way home. Um, it looks like we won't be able to do that today because everyone's swamped with work. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Maybe we can hang out another day. Yep, if you say so. Whoa, looks like you're drowning in tasks. Need a hand? No, no, thank you. Oh, come on. Don't try to act all tough. I got this report covered, all right? Th thank you very much. Her name is Yui Yumeji. She's the CEO's daughter, and she's stunning. She's a total pro at her job and treats everyone with kindness. And it seems like a lot of people are crushing on her. Why is he always getting her attention? Oh. Yamashita is crushing on her too, just like everyone else. The reason I'm familiar with someone like Yui who is clearly out of my league is because... We missed the last train. Excuse us. Seriously, sis? Not again. Chill, it's no biggie, right? My big sis, Saki Sato, and Yui have been buds for a minute now. And they're both really into partying and going out for drinks. Whenever they miss the last train, they just come over to my place as I live near downtown. <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to disturb you, Keiichi. It's fine, but you guys are seriously drunk, aren't you? Nah, uh not even close. We should totally have another round. Oh man, looks like it's round two of drinking in my house again. Keiichi, how about you? Want a drink? Well, if just a little bit... Now that's what I'm talking about. They didn't stop drinking even after I passed out for the night. Hey, morning. Sorry about last night. Not at all, Yui. You're still full of energy after all that drinking last night. Booze is what keeps us going, you know. Oh, looks like he's enjoying himself with Yui again. Enjoy my last, Sato, you little punk. What's the deal here, Sato? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I can't believe you accidentally ordered all these products. M me too, sir. If we don't manage to sell all of them, we'll be at a huge financial loss. What do we do now? Uh, I'm incredibly sorry, sir. If we mess up again, you better redo your training at our store. Yes, sir. I take full responsibility for the inconvenience caused. Hmm. Something is not right. I double-checked the numbers I entered for these. But now we've got a ton of chocolates. What's going on? Hmm? Wait a second. Could it actually be... I knew it. Yamashita's order form had the amount as sets, not individual pieces. That part went right over my head because he's not the one to typically do that. Or maybe he did it on purpose. 
Even if it was on purpose, I still ended up messing up. So I can't really call him out on it. Right now, my main concern is figuring out what to do with these chocolates. Hmm. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, isn't it? Looks like I won't be getting any chocolates again this year. Damn, that's really sad. Do you even think you'll get one? Of course I will. I've got a top secret method of scoring chocolates from girls. No way. Does such a thing even exist? Let me in on the secret. Listen, you pop into the convenience store where the cashier is a girl, and you grab a bag of chocolates. If you don't get a plastic bag for the chocolates, that girl will be like, "Here you go," and hand you the bag of chocolates. So you're saying I'm the one who's buying chocolates for myself? That doesn't exactly qualify as a Valentine's Day gift from the girl. That's like a typical Valentine's Day situation. But hold on a second. Hey Yui, I've got a fun idea for Valentine's Day. Can I run it by you? An idea for Valentine's Day? Wait, are you talking about those huge batches of chocolates we received? Oh, how embarrassing! Okay, so what's the deal with this idea you've got? For Valentine's Day, I had this idea to make a project where we make sure we all get chocolates, like no one misses out. Can you explain that a bit more for me? You know, for us guys, not getting any chocolates on Valentine's Day is like a punch in the gut. <laughs> I see. So my goal for this project is to have the store clerks handing out chocolates to everyone. Wait, so it's not the same as just buying chocolates? An example of this would be offering promotions like spending a certain amount and get chocolates from the store clerk, or. Receive a free chocolate from the store clerk when you get one of those eco-friendly bags. Ah, gotcha. It's not solely about buying chocolates, but more about the shared experience of everyone receiving them and feeling happy. We can go over the details, but the overall concept is pretty solid. You really think so? There seems to be a bunch of male fans on our company social media. Having a staff members present at the store could be a solid move too. Is that alright? Yeah, I'm totally down for it. Thank you very much. But KG, I'm counting on you to put in some serious work for the preparations. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my absolute best. Following the meeting, my idea was accepted as an official project, and created a stir on social media with reactions like "Count me in" or "I'll be sure to collect chocolates from every store clerk." In order to prepare for Valentine's Day. I had to negotiate with multiple parties and ensure everything was in place. And eventually, the day arrived. It's going to be 5.032 yen. I'll pay with my card, please. Certainly, sir. Please place your card here. Thank you very much. And here's a chocolate. Happy Valentine's Day. Th thank you very much. Wow. I just got a chocolate from this super cute girl. Thank you for coming. We hope to have you back again. This turned out even better than I expected, and sales are doing great too. Well done, Katie. This is a huge accomplishment. Congratulations. No, I couldn't have done it without you all. It's a bummer that we still have some chocolates left, though. It's all good. No need to stress. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. These are your chocolates. What are these? The leftovers from today? Why? You're not into chocolates? I I love them. I'd be happy to get some. Alrighty, here you go. Keiji's project was a huge success today, wasn't it? Y yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for today, everyone. Fine by me. Got to save money on buying courtesy chocolates. Sato, you really put in some effort. Well done. You deserve this. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. What did you get? Y Yui. Oh, I just got the leftover chocolates from today. Hmm. I see. You were a huge help today, Yui-san. Thank you. <laughs> the project was a total success. Even Dad's on board with our success. He's confident we'll hit our sales target this term. Wow, that's fantastic! Here, this is for you. 
Thank you so much. Catch you later. She gave me a chocolate. But these seem kind of different from the ones she was handing out, huh? Hey, Yui! Dealing with Sato must have been rough. Oh, hello, Yamashita. Speaking of Valentine's Day chocolates. They're in the cardboard box on the table at the office. Huh? You can take as many as you want. I need to go get changed. Oh. Damn it. Sato's project turned out to be a huge success. This wasn't part of the plan. Impressive. Our Valentine's Day project was a major success in terms of sales. I'm guessing Sato's gonna get a promotion soon, right? Probably. Let's head up the after party and celebrate our project's success. Sounds like a plan. Selling all these chocolates has worn me out, so I'm heading home. Seems like she's skipping on the after party. Wait, Yui's heading home already? Maybe she's dropping a hand for me to ask her out? Hmm? Wait, what? Sato? Man, Sato's totally taking advantage of Yui being drunk. What a jerk. I never thought he'd sink that low. Wait, don't tell me. No way. Did he really do that? I gotta get the CEO here from the party to show him that. We can't keep that jerk around. Did Yui actually get taken into an apartment by some shady guy? Yes, your daughter was in danger. So I had to let you know right away. Now that I think about it, Yui has been talking about a persistent man who won't give her space. Really, sir? Then I'm positive she was referring to this jerk. Are you serious? Oh, Yui's dad? What brings you here? Oh, Saki? Huh? What the heck is this lady doing here at this apartment? It's been a while, sir. What's the matter? Well, you see this man... Uh... Um... Who is she? Her name is Saki, and she's a close friend to Yui's. Y yui sans friend? Is this your house, Saki? No, this is Cage's house. See? I grabbed some snacks. What? How come Yumeji, our CEO, and Yamashita are both here? Hey, Keiichi, welcome back. Did he manage to grab some salmon jerky, dried squid, and fried chicken? Yeah, I got all of them. Thanks! Uh, mm, what exactly is happening here? Yui was craving snacks, so Keiji went to get her some. Ah, uh, I see. Sato, I'm really sorry that my daughter is this drunk. No, not at all. My sister being drunk is the reason for this. So please don't be concerned, sir. Oh my god! Yamashita is here too? Uh, hello! Dad, I was talking about this guy. The one who's been constantly bothering me. What? Have you been following my every move today too? Here to explain, Yamashita. Oh, no, no, please don't phrase it like that. I was simply hoping for a chance to chat with you. <sighs> Today's all about celebrating Sato's project's success. I won't press for more details, as I don't want to spoil the happy occasion. Phew. But don't even think about getting close to Yui again. Sir? Y yui san please clear up this misunderstanding. He's getting the wrong impression. What? Why do I need to do that? I think we both know that we've been talking a lot lately, don't you agree? And we did say we would have dinner together soon, am I right? I'm pretty sure I've said no to you countless times. But you didn't take no for an answer, so I ended up discussing it with Dad. But, but I really mean it when I say I have feelings for you. I never asked if your feelings were true or not. Ugh, I can't stand people who alters their behavior based on who they're with. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. I don't think I change how I act based on who I am with. Yamashita, you're totally overloading Keiji with tasks. I'm not sure if overloading is the right word. It really comes down to Sato's skill. His project just proves that he's got some great skills. But... In a... any case, 
can you please do something about this? <sighs> hey, Yui-san! Would you also like a drink, sir? Is that right? Why not? Okay, I'm happy to grab a drink with you all. W wait a minute, sir. Ugh, what the heck just happened? I'm feeling awkward as hell now. The Valentine's Day project was a hit, and I was given more projects to work on. On the other hand, it seemed like Yamashita wasn't quite fit in the company anymore. The next project's materials are ready. Keiji, here. Thank you very much. Damn, Sato! Thinking he's all that? If my memory serves me right, our boss told him that if he screws up again, he'll have to start his training from scratch at our store. Don't think I'll let you off the hook, you little jerk. Just wait and see. Alright. Looks like everyone is in a meeting or something. I'm gonna make sure he messes up the order form again for the next White Day event. This time, I'll switch the currency from Yang to Euro. Alright. Perfect. What, what on earth? What's the noise? What's making that sound? Yamashita, what's going on? Oh no, this is not good. Hey, don't go anywhere. Yikes! I apologize for the commotion, but this is just a notification I set up. What's the alert for? I learned from the previous mistake and made sure to set up measures to avoid any wrong information being included on the order form. Oh, is that so? If there are any abnormal values in terms of numbers or amounts, It'll make a noise to alert you. What a fantastic idea! It's an effective method for avoiding future mistakes. But wait, how did the notification go off if you weren't the one responsible, Sato? Let me check the log. <sighs> the currency had apparently been revised, and the figures were all messed up. How in the world did this happen? Concerning the timing, I believe Yamashita was the one who did that. Yamashita, can you explain the meaning of this? Uh, 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 are you accusing me of something? I didn't do. I'd never do something like that. What? Yamashita, weren't you the only one in this room? But, but, is there anyone who can confirm that I did it? For now, let's set this issue aside. Yamashita, you are the one responsible for the previous problem with the chocolate order, correct? Huh? Keiji was saying he had no idea when he made the mistake. So, I did some investigating with the logs and security cameras. After looking into it, I discovered that you had edited the quantity on the order form. <sighs> so, was it his fault that our order got messed up? Yes, thanks to Keiji, we were able to avoid a major loss. What is your excuse for this? Stop trying to pin everything on me! What are you doing? Ugh. Sir? Or should I say, father-in-law? Can I have your permission to marry your daughter? Excuse me? I can make her way happier than Sato. I thought I told you to stay away from Yui. Th that's Stay away from Yui? Was he being all creepy and stalking her? You know, now that I think about it, he was always chasing after her. Ew, that's just straight up gross. What the heck did you do? D dad Please accept my apologies for any inconvenience he may have caused you. I urge that he face disciplinary consequences for betraying your trust. Hurry up! You better apologize as well. I, I I'm really sorry. Can't you apologize without someone telling you to? W well isn't Keichikun the person you should apologize to the most? But... Yamashita-san, I get it if you can't stand me, but causing trouble for the company because of it is going overboard. Uh, I'm truly sorry. After conducting an investigation, it was ultimately confirmed that Yamashita was responsible for this issue. Yamashita must have had it rough sticking around at work after crying in front of everyone during his apology. Even though it did resolve things. 
No long after, Yamashita called it quits, and his old man decided to retire early too. With no parental support, Yamashita has been struggling to land a new job. Yes, I'm coming. Oh, Yui. Good evening, Keiji. Wait, my sis isn't around, and it's just me today. I know that. That's why I'm here. Then shall we have a drink together? Yeah, let's drink. I wonder if Yui only sees me as my sister's little brother, or as a younger colleague who needs some looking after. I want to take things slow for now, hoping that someday I can change my relationship with Yui. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel.